saved your life. Thank you. You almost fell. Wake up. It's time for Generations. <laughs> Welcome back to the Generations Ministry, episode 32. Where the tires fake. But the truth is real. This week, we're going to be talking about healing the sick. Throughout Jesus' ministry, he Jesus healed a lot of people. He, he healed the deaf. He healed the... Uh, blind, and he healed a lot of other people with all types of sicknesses. Man, that'd be fun. Just being able to walk around healing people. Well, that's just it, Asher. We can. Hmm? The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And he, and Jesus, the reason he could do miracles is because he was always listening to the Father and he was obeying his Father's will. And this opened him up to be able to do more and more miracles. One of the greatest healings that Jesus did was healing the man at the pool of Bethesda. Would you like to tell the story? Sure, I'll tell it. There was this man who had been paralyzed for 38 years. And he was at the pool of Bethesda for a very long time. And one day Jesus came along and asked him, do you want to be healed? And the paralyzed man said, yes, I would like to be healed. And immediately Jesus healed him. And he said, take up your mac and mat and walk. They didn't have Macs back then. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. No, he said, so take up your mat and walk. And he did. It was pretty amazing. Sometimes Jesus healed lots of people at one time. But sometimes he just healed one person. Like, for instance, the pool of Bethesda. Like, he just, like, there were multiple people there, but he just decided to heal that one person instead of everybody else. That's right. I guess that's my line. Now that Jesus isn't on this earth anymore, he sent his Holy Spirit to be with us. And the, same, the Bible says that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And we, we should take this as our job. We should take this as our duty to be going around performing miracles like Jesus did. So we carry on the, uh, what do you call it? The legacy. Legacy. Thank you. The legacy that Jesus has started. The memory verse for this week comes from... Come on, please. Mark 16, verse 17 through 18, it says, These signs will follow those who believe. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. I guess that's a verse for me, because I believe, and... I believe. I believe. But do you believe? That's the question. Thanks for watching the Generation Ministries episode 32. We hope to see you again next week. Please share this video. Bye. Bye. Oh, the tire. I got it. Yeah, I just... We should take Francis for a ride. Let's get down. I don't want to break the desk. Uh, We've got to use it for next week. I guess. What about the week after that? <laughs> yeah, and the week after that, and the week after Bye. that. Bye. Adios, Bye. and the week after that, and the week after that.